Motion tends to stay in motion. A body in a seat belt tends to stay in the seat. Any questions? Always wear your seat belt. Go ahead. Think ahead. You can walk your iguana, or you can walk the dog, but you can't walk my beat. I was walking my beat just the other day when I happened to look down and discovered something peculiar. I was wearing a brown belt with my blue uniform and black shoes. I had misplaced my black belt. I spotted Wally Weasel and asked him if he knew where I might find my belt. But right away, I realized I was wasting my time. Wally Weasel didn't have a clue. Wally, don't make me ask you again. Do you know anything about your sister's belt? Uh, which one, Mom? Come on, puppy, let go. Stop chewing. Wally! Time to go now. Today we're going to talk about potatoes. I don't mean scalloped potatoes. I don't mean fried potatoes. I mean couch potatoes. My hubby is Tubby from Too Much TV. Now we all know how hard it is to get them up off the couch. So I developed an exercise program that starts right here. 
And it starts like this. Push off. Now get up and try to find your toes. Can you see them? Now let's do some aerobic dancing. Let's hop and bop and slim up the top. Let's jump and jitter and slim down our sitter. Let's dance and prance and think about romance. Okay, girls, that ought to keep you busy for a while. Remember, you are what you eat, so don't be a potato chip. I'm out of here, folks, on my exercise bike to Nowheresville. Until next time, don't forget to have fun. Yee-haw! Come on, girls, let's go bowling. <laughs> I have a large super potato salad to go, please. <laughs> Sorry, lady. No salads. It's snarf and barf. Just uh, fried potatoes. Okay. Now listen. I'll have fried potatoes uncooked with no grease. No sauce, no arguments! <laughs> okay, lady. <laughs> Here you go! <laughs> Wally, I'm looking for the cornstarch. Uh, I've got it here in the bathroom, Dad. What could you possibly be doing with the cornstarch in the bathroom? I'm making a mess with it. Wally! But it's really fun! Messes are fun unless you have to clean them up. Here's someone who's one big mess. This is Sydney Starfer with the refrigerator. Report, report. Have you ever taken a really good look and what's growing in the back of your refrigerator? No. I don't mean celery and broccoli. Yum, yum. I mean all of last year's leftovers that got pushed way back. Let's take a look in my fridge and see what's in there. I see something that's growing humongous. Look out, kids, there's a fungus among us. Hungry, hungry, I'm looking for something to eat. <laughs> Wally, is that you? I better get out of here before someone catches me. Have you 
you seen the paintbrush I was using? I'm using it, Mom. For what? I'm brushing. Brushing what? The dog, Stinky. No, no, uh, Wally, not the dog. Okay, okay, Mom. Here's someone who will help you brush up on science. Things tend to stay where you put them. Now, if I could only remember where that is. The correct formulation for Newton's special law is a body at rest tends to stay at rest. What body? What body? The body in question. What's the question? Newton's first law is the answer. You said that. What's the question? There was no question. How can you know the answer when you don't know what the question is? Newton's laws of motion are not a bunch of questions. They are a picture of how objects behave, as in, a body at rest tends to stay at rest. Why don't you give it a rest? Don't you ever get tired of being right all the time? No, Dr. Bear. Doctor. Doctor. Well, of course, some bodies tend to rest more than others. Hello, this is Ask a Doc. Do you have a question? Hello, Billy. There's no Billy here. Billy's dad has a blue car. There's no blue car here. Billy's dad has a blue car. Billy's dad is not here. Call back later. Where is the blue car, Dr. Bear? What car? <laughs> Dr. Bear, I think you've finally met your match. Hello, this is Ask a Doc. Do you have a question? Hello, Billy. Oh, no! It's Silly Billy again. Can Billy come out to play? You have the wrong number. What's wrong? Nothing is wrong. Then where's Billy? Billy is, uh, in the bathroom. Call back later. Dr. Bear, I think Billy really likes you. Oh, fooey. Wooly, have you seen my umbrella? Yes, Mom. Where is it? It's in the shower. No, no, Wooly. Here's an umbrella type of fella. A bear in motion tends to stay in motion. The correct formulation of Newton's second law of motion is a body in motion tends to stay in motion. There are no bodies here, just bears. The body refers to the object that the second law of motion describes. You keep talking about bodies, but I'm talking about bears. I don't think I can bear this conversation anymore. When a beer is in motion, he stays moving, and that's it. Newton's second law of motion says that bodies in motion continue to move unless something stops them. What body? What body? You keep saying that, and I don't get it. Doctor, body means the thing that is the object we are talking about. I've had enough of this explanation. Goodbye for now, and remember, wherever you go, there you are. Doctor, you are unbearable. Hello, this is Ask a Doc. Do you have a question? Doctor, why does it rain down instead of up? Uh, if it rained up, it would put the sun out. That is not the real answer, Doctor. What did you say? I said that is not the right answer. Shh. Don't let the caller hear you. 
just what this show needs, an uppity computer. What is the right answer, smarty pants? Gravity. Gravity is the answer. In physics, gravitation is the force that tends to draw all bodies in the Earth's sphere toward the center of the Earth. The acceleration of gravity is approximately 32 feet per second per second. You're repeating yourself. Now be quiet. Ah, uh, gravity is the answer. Gravity is why it rains down instead of seven up. Dr. Bear, you are completely nuts. Well, peanuts to you and pistachio nuts to my friends. This is Dr. Bear saying good science and Good night. This is my show. If you want to answer the phone, you pay the phone bill. I've had enough of you. I'd like a big barf breakfast to go and two large drinks. That'll be five bucks. Here you go, buddy. Gravity. Wooly, you and Stinky get out of the bathroom. Stinky's still drinking, Mom. Let the dog in, let the dog out. Clean your ears, wash your mouth. You're in there too long. Now it's time to get out. It's Wally this, it's Wally that. Out now, Wooly. Okay, Mom. I'm doing what you said. I'm letting the dog out. Now it's time for me to get out. Come on, Stinky. <laughs> Wally, don't forget to clean the bathtub. I'm tired of cleaning up after you. Me? Wash the bathtub? I'd like to hire someone else to do that job. Stay tuned for the Domestic Engineering Report. Hello, this is Werner Wolf with the Domestic Engineering Report. Today's fun food recipe is for strawberry Shortcake. First, strawberry shorts. Second, add shortcake. Bingo! Strawberry shorts cake. That's not right, Coach. How would you know? I worked for a bakery once, carrying stuff for people. Oh. Strawberries are red and juicy. That stuff is close. Well, I'm new at this. I'll say, you should get a book about cooking from the library. The library? Yes, Coach, the library. It's the best place to find things out, and it's free. I guess you're right. I need more information. Well, back to the cutting board. Good idea, Coach. So long for now. This is Warner Wolf saying, eat healthy and eat right. Wally, is my calculator in there? I'll be done with it in a minute, Dad. I'm calculating with it. What are you calculating? I'm trying to make things add up, and they don't. <laughs> This is Werner Wolf with the Domestic Engineering Report. Today's fun food lesson is how to make banana cream pie. First, add bananas. Next, add cream. Bingo! Banana cream pie. That's not right, Coach. How come? When I worked in a bakery, that's not how they made the pie. Oh. First, you have to peel the bananas. You can't eat them that way. Next, the pie must have a crust. And 
The whipped cream has to be whipped, not just put onto the pie. Okay, okay. Let's just forget about bananas. Bananas are good for you. They have lots of vitamins and minerals. Hey, they sound good. I'm hungry. I think I'll just bite a banana. Good idea, coach. Well, back to the cutting board. And remember, eat healthy and eat right. This is Wally Weasel. I can do whatever I want. No, Wally, no. I need those cans for recycling. I'd rather have a motorcycle than a recycle. No, with the cans, Wally. I think I can. 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 Yes, we're back in circulation one more time. That's right, Mr. Bag. There are lots of things we use every day that can be recycled, like cans. Cans are made of aluminum and steel. When we recycle them, we don't have to dig any more aluminum or steel out of the ground. That saves a lot of aluminum, steel, and energy. And that's a good thing. Mr. Bag, have you ever met any recycled cans? Oh, yes. All the time. I've carried them home from the grocery store. Really? Yes. Some of my best friends are recycled cans. Do you talk much with them? A little. What do they say? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny, Mr. Bag. Is that all they can say? They don't know a lot of words. How come? Being a can isn't as interesting as being a bag. Well, thank you for telling us all this, Mr. Bag. Bye-bye for now. And remember, if you don't waste it, You'll have it when you need it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And now, here's Sissy.
last news. A body in motion tends to stay in motion. A body in a seat belt tends to stay in the seat. Any questions? Always wear your seat belt. Go ahead, think ahead. Electricity can make our lives comfortable. But there's one thing about electricity you should never forget. Electricity will go to ground. Don't let it go through you. Any questions? Never play with electric wires. Go ahead. Think ahead. important tool for digging is information, like where the gas lines are. So call ahead before you dig it. They didn't call. Can you dig it? Any questions? Always call before you dig it. Go ahead. Think ahead. 